James, um, I don't believe this is a Formula Junior Cooper. No, it's not a Formula Junior. It's perhaps a polar opposite, if there is such a thing. Um, so it's a 5000. It's a, it's a Cooper T90. Um, so it's a small block Chevy in the back. And it's a 5000 built as a 5000, which the T90 model was. So it ran in period, raced by Peter Rell in 1969 in what was then called the SCCA uh, Series A. So it won the Series A, which then became called the Formula 5000 in the UK yeah. Championship in 1969. Um, and it's, it's, it didn't do a right lot after that. Uh, the middle owner we're not so sure about, Mel Cotterill, um, and, and when the chap I bought it off sort of indirectly found it and restored it, um, it didn't do much after that either. So when it came back to the UK, um, it was painted yellow and it was in an auction and nobody wanted it because it looked pretty rubbish in yellow. So um, I bought it and painted it Connaught Green, which I'm very pleased with. <laughs> and you've got enough grunt to shove you up Prescott. We've got plenty of grunt. So I've just done one practice already and it's done a 49, I can't remember the bits, which is quite nice because it's kind of where a pre-war car leaves it stood around about 49 so this can pick up and go quicker throughout the day yeah it does want to swap ends on you though you've got to watch it there's a load of grunt waiting to overtake you <laughs> suddenly the world is revolving around you yeah absolutely so you've got to be quick on the reactions you've got to catch it you've not got to you can't drive it at 10 tenths you've got to leave something in the bag everywhere you go and then now and again it will step out and you think okay that'll be the limit then <laughs> have you tried it on the circuits only around blight and circuit so we go there and test we have a tip-top track there there every year and so we invite customers and whatnot and, I, and I've had it around there done sort of three or four laps as as much because these tyres are hill climb tyres so you can't just go getting them so hot doing lap after lap um, I need another set of wheels to do that which I will do in, in due course I will are you tempted to do some historic racing with it I am yes but you know me I'm a hill man <laughs> so the hills are preferable for me for lots of reasons not least to say financial but I love the intensity of it and I love the no excuse basis of come on what did the clock say yeah. can't end, can't, end of story you can't blame anybody else for nerfing you off it, it nerfed me up it took me corner it took my line none of that rubbish it, and, and, and these days F1 is becoming a bit of a flower festival isn't it you know it, it's all in front of the judges as to who made the big mistake but hill climbing's raw and it's a time and it's a clock and what did you do and it's against yourself which is good but also it's a garden party in a beautiful part of the country with a bit of motor racing just to annoy you in the background well it is it's got it's got its bolt on extras but that's, that's fab isn't it that just makes it even better but it, you're right it's the raw motorsport why I guess I'm here because I mean last weekend I was at Scammond in Hill Climb doing the same thing in, in sometimes this car sometimes in another car but I like it even at grassroots quiet levels like that at the side of the M62 it, it's all still hill climbing yes this is even nicer <laughs> we shall watch with great interest James Baxter thanks very much indeed thanks for having me